So this is a video that I just turn on the camera and I talk and I just got out of the shower and I need to comb my hair and that takes about 10 minutes. So why not make a video while I'm doing this? If I'm, you're wondering why I'm looking over here, I have a mirror right here. So, so right after I got out of school, everybody in like my school was like, they're really excited. It's like school's ending, that type of stuff. And for me, it wasn't done because right after school, right after we got out at noon on the last day of school, I had to drive five hours to a college in a different state to go to this leadership seminar thingy. It was really nice there because it was like 250 students that went from 250 schools. So no one knew each other. So it was perfectly acceptable to walk up to someone and be like, hi, I'm Karen, that type of stuff. And that was very enjoyable. And when I first got there, I was weirded out by everything because everybody was in like costume and not all the students, but all like the staff members and stuff. And that weirded me out because I'm like, was what's going on? I don't know what's happening. And that ended up being like themes and we had like groups and each group had like two members or whatever. And I was in a cat in a hat group and then they gave us these cat in a hat hats and I felt really stupid wearing them at first. And I did not like that. But then we did and we learned some cheers and they talked and they did an intro and then they had a speaker come in and we were all sitting there and it was air conditioned and it was so nice. And I'd say like, Halfway through the day, it started like getting fun and like I wasn't like weirded out by everyone and everything. And throughout this whole entire seminar, they had a bunch of speakers come in and we did a lot of activities where we figured out where we were on like the leadership style skill thing. And I met so many people. I met so many people. I met so many people who had like such different stories. Like, I met this one girl who has this disease where, well, she needs hearing aids and she could go, like, deaf at any moment or whatever. And she was talking about how, like, the albiism that gets thrown at her sometimes. And, like, I didn't... It's like I realized it, but I haven't connected the dots to, like, a real person that that happens. I met so many people of, like, different religions, too. And I thought that was really cool, because my community is majorly one religion. And I found that really interesting, because I never had that insight. And they, like, taught me a little bit about stuff, and that was really, really cool. And we had this one panel that they were all people of color. And it was about inclusion and including people with all like different types of people include make <laughs> with different types of people making sure everybody's included and there was a person who wrote a book about black lives matter there was an a person of the lgbt community which i also thought was really cool then there were two muslim americans there i thought that was really cool because what they did is they introduced themselves and then we could go up and ask questions to them and wowee this group of pe these 250 students I went to were some of the most intelligent people and they came up with such cool questions and I thought that was the coolest thing and I it was like a three night thing yeah I had to walk so much it was like three blocks to like the main auditorium we had to go to that was interesting there's also a dance there that I that I went to well that we were required to go to and I wasn't having fun because it was like, it was like like 10 o'clock at night and I like I got up at like 6 and I'm like, can I just go to bed? And they weren't even playing good music, they were playing like top 40 and like hip hop R&B stuff and I'm not into that type of music. And one of the people I was hanging out with, like she she's kind of similar to me, she's very introverted and she doesn't usually go to dances and that type of stuff and I've known her for like 4 hours, you know. But, like, I could tell she wasn't having a fun time. So, what I did is at the end of the song, I'm, I was nudging her. I'm like, hey, you want to go get lemonade and go sit out on the porch with me? Because there was, like, a porch, like, in the same building or whatever. And she's like, I'm so glad you asked that. And so we kind of halfway ditched the dance and we sat out on that porch. And we talked about, like, hair. 
hair. And we talked about like where we were from and what our hobbies were, and that was really fun. And then another person from my group came out. Oh, it was so much fun. And then by the end, all the groups, they had to like do cheers and stuff. And we had like different types of cheers and dancing that we did. And while we were, everybody had like so much energy at the end and they weren't like embarrassed to like do anything or that type of stuff. And that was so much fun. It was so much fun because I've never been at, with a group of people that are so enthusiastic about stuff. Like my school's enthusiastic about my school, but not everybody is. It's about a third of my class is enthusiastic and like doing the cheers and the rest are just kind of like sitting there kind of doing it. And yeah, so that was my experience at a leadership conference. I re recommend them, especially if you don't know anyone. I had so much ice cream while I was there too. Well, happy as many videos as possible in July. See ya later.